this uplifting cinematic experience. Uh, I've got something important to tell you, man. The big story is... Dig this and dig it deep. What if I had the power to gather all of my favorite MCs with the endless comic book characters and they became arch enemies? Inconceivable, unbelievable, yet as wild as it seems, the Emperor and Stan Lee will coach the two opposing teams. Keep it clean, no bats, no gats, guns, or interference. Comic book characters will go head up with raw lyrics. Now I take whoever might be on break from doing tours and have them sign up for the last Emperor's secret war. Sure, for that kind of capacity, we need a crazy large arena that might stretch from West Philadelphia to East Medina. If I'm able, I'd put it on pay-per-view through my label and give free tickets to my neighborhood bums with no cable. Yeah, that sounds fat. Now that we've squared away the propositions, let's begin with the ultimate tough man competition. Set it off, it's the fight of the century. KRS and Professor X would battle each other mentally with rhymes. These two team captains waste no time. Charles Xavier tried to invade Chris Parker's mind. He shot a cerebral probe at Chris's mind, but he missed it. Professor X taken out by the Blastmaster's metaphysics. Round two, new fight, word of life, you gotta see this. Locked in Mortal Kombat is Doctor Strange and the genius. Yeah, son, he's no match, let that graphic wizard have it. My liquid sword slashes straight to Doctor Strange's magic. Another hero down, and now the score is two to zero. My words from the genius, and he's still my ramen hero. Now the next fight was conducted in a rough-like manner, specifically between Reggie Noble and Doctor David Banner. Or should I say the Incredible Hulk when he's amped off the gamma? But Reggie Noble soon became the Incredible Red Man and slammed him. You know how Red Man gets when his adrenaline starts pumping. Started skits in the ring, so then the thing tried to jump in. Ben Grimm leaps into the ring, and after Red Man he lunges. But Reggie Noble dropped him with two bricks, and he punches. Bombs by the bunches, bums get dirty in the Middle Eastern dungeons. Ready to set this like Detective Columbo in his hunches. While the refs clean out the ring, cause the last fight was so intense. Let's do a live interview with a brother named Common Sense. Yeah, yeah, it's Common Sense. A nice man tried to freeze me, so I took him to Chicago and told him to take it easy. He couldn't see me with my Apple Jack hat and high tops. Colossus and Cyclops, I got no idea why not. But look at Common Sense, yo, that last album was tight. Let me get back to the ring and evaluate the next fight. Now, the next fight had to be the craziest of all times. We got Dr. Octopus versus the mighty Buster. Rock Doc Ox versus Buster? Man, that stuff is dead. He'll get his eight arms ripped off going up against the drag. Uh -huh. Now, Dr. Octopus, who you think you grabbing? The guard can never lose, so you know it will never happen. Huh. Lyrically making me sleepy, you'll need a nap when I slap you with my dread lights out. You'll kiss the cat. Before my eyes, I see the demise of another superhero. Next up is Roscoe versus Magneto. Now anything goes with Magneto battles foes. But Roscoe had him shivering, delivering ultra magnetic blows. Magneto is now deceased, and a wise man said it best. The sun rises in the east, but they can still set it in the west. And with all these heroes down, Stanley refuses to surrender. He got stormed from the X-Men as if I couldn't match the gender. Stanley shouts, Excelsior. Yo, Stan, you best to chill. There's no match for Storm. I guess he's never heard of Lauren Hill. Now we all know Storm controls the temperature and weather. Started running off at the lip and El Boog was like, whatever. See, she just got home from tour. She's a bit too tired to spar. So she clocked Storm over the head with my man Wyclef's guitar. All silence has ceased. Out of nowhere comes the beast. Versus J. Wu, the damage of the black prophet from the east. Releasing rhymes that will pound you into the ground. There'll be no round two. Another victory for hip-hop by the dirty rotten scoundrel. Now the underground sewer system that lies deep below the ring is where the teenage mutant ninja turtles and Dos effects do their thing. Leonardo and Donatello, they well know that we can do this. So kick it the crazy crazy, hit them both with raw so it. Now Raphael and Michelangelo, those two other sewer brothers, book smack them with the Dos effects logo, the manhole cover. Whether you're plant or animal, vegetable or mega mineral, before you step the Dos effects, you best be hard like a criminal. Taking you back to ringside just when you thought it was over. The last battle was brought forth by G.I. Joe and Cobra. Mercenaries and soldiers, G.I. Joe was rolling thick. But I'll get the military of hip-hop, a.k.a. the boot camp click. World War 3 for 98 in the wake of all these troops. I could see General Buckshot going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Duke. Salute the captain for rapping, cause now we know who's hard. Catching rep like stealing tech up against the Crimson Guard. Charging after you, smashing you. Metaphorically bashing through the entire Joe team is OGC and Ruck the Irrational. Then all of a sudden I hear this real loud crack. The military punish your big rock, just broke roadblocks back. I insult to injury to Stan Lee and his team. We've got Weapon X from Canada, a.k.a. Wolverine. You know the routine, his claws can rip rappers for days. But here comes the Method Man, a.k.a. Johnny Blaze. Wolverine, you can't hang when Takao does his thing. Paralyze you with the venom from the Method Man's fang. This is the final battle as the stratosphere gets darker. We got Nasir Jones versus Peter Parker. Nasty Nas, the halftime head ringer versus the web slinger. Illmatic versus radioactive in the rotten apple with a dead linger. He cursed the day that spider ever bit him and gave him a copy of the second LP it was written. For all up and coming MCs, I've got a question. If I made a Secret Wars Part 2, would your name even be mentioned? Would you make the final cut? I make the nicest get their titles up. Writing rhymes slash fighting crimes like the Blue Falcon and Dino Mutt. Stick around for the next battle slash adventure. And if you see Stan
Stan Lee, tell him the last emperor sent ya. Sent ya. Sent ya.